back with another tutorial video and this time I'm gonna talk about world maps. This video might be a long one. I'm gonna be making a map for my sample project and I'm gonna show you how you can click on the map to go certain places in your game. Let's get to it! So I will be working with this project, the first one I made where James is the main character. I'm going to put it in in-game UI because the map will probably count as a UI. In my mind it counts. Map. And I'm going to add an image map. And once we have our image map, we can add our map graphic. Map. And within that, I will import these two images. One is where the map is not yet unlocked and then one is where the map is unlocked. We're just going to assume that the map is unlocked. And we don't have a hover version, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll just put in the same graphic for that. And then we can add the hotspots for where the player can click to go to certain areas on the map. Now that we have all of those plates, we can go ahead and press OK. When the player clicks on those, it, it's not going to do anything yet. We're going to have to set those scenes for where these places are afterwards. So let's forget about this scene for now and go back to where we have Willow. And so after school, after we meet Willow, she shows up. And we go to her house, and she's like, thanks for coming over, you can visit me anytime. And I could change the size of the characters in the transition, but I really don't feel like it. And plus, you all know how to do that from my previous video. So after Willow says, thanks for coming over, you can visit anytime, we'll create the next scene that it'll jump to. This is a chapter, that's fine. That's fine, because we're gonna start a new chapter anyway. So it'll be it called after school and, the, and this chapter will be called daily routine because basically after this point forward the game's mechanics will change completely into the map mechanic. And then the scene will jump to the map. So there will be no unlocking the map. You'll just unlock the map by getting to that point in the story. After this scene, you'll also go to after school. So both decisions you make will ultimately end up leading you to the scene with the map where you can choose where to go after school and you can have this repeat every day and show different content every day all driven by variables. I'll show you some examples now of what you can do with the map feature. So I've already placed all these hotspots and they all will go to different scenes. So in the daily routine chapter we can add new uh, scenes based on the places that you can go from the map. So we'll do one called classrooms. One called library.
this after school scene, depending on where you click, will lead you to different scenes here. And we can configure those in the map. They can only jump to labels, they can't jump directly to the scenes. So we will have to make the labels for them. So first we're going to put an idol under the show image map. And then we're going to put new labels. So we will we'll have a label called classrooms, which will change the scene to the classrooms scene. And then the next label will be called library. which will go to the library scene. after each change scene. I'm gonna start with the library because I already have kind of something in mind for that. This goes back to episode two tutorial, uh, building the scene. So I'm just gonna fast forward this since you've already seen it. Now that we're done with the library scene, we can go right back to the beginning after school. We'll just have it loop around so that you can keep going to the map and experiencing new content based on where you want to go. After the end of this scene, I'll add some more um, variables. I'll add LP here just so you know that you gained some more points and those points will actually prevent you from seeing this scene again that's why i'll add another check number it'll actually jump to a completely different scene
So we have to make the, these hot spots connect to their corresponding labels. So the classrooms one will jump to the classrooms label and so on. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the map scene, I'll have to erase image map. And I'll put it after every label. There we go. Now I click on it and the rest of the background does not show. <laughs> Next we'll do the Willow's house scene. But you'll only be able to go to her house if you uh, have been there before. So I'm going to have a check number variable first. And it's going to check for Willow points because if you saw her before you will have had two willow points and that way it'll jump to the right label which is enter just because you're able to enter the house it will let you in the house and willow will be there If you check the number and it's not equal to two, which means that you have not been to her house before and earned her affection points, then you won't be able to enter her house. And it'll jump to the label saying, not enough, which is not enough. Willow points, and you will have to have seen her at school in order to gain the willow points you need to visit her house. And then at the end of this one, we'll change the scene. back to the map. Just say, hey, thanks for visiting. And then the scene will change back to the daily routine because we don't really need, for the sake of the tutorial, adding a bunch of extra stuff won't even really make sense. So if we help pick up the books, Next 
day, school ends, and then we can choose where we want to go. We can try to go to Willow's house, but since we haven't met Willow yet, it'll say not enough Willow points and then take us right back here. And then we can go to the library and see the scene with Lucy. And if you choose to go someplace random, I might be able to put in a scene where you actually meet Willow, which will unlock Willow's house. Or you could go to the classrooms and see the teacher and stuff like that. And you might be able to meet Lucy in the hallway if you meet Willow at someplace random. Basically, there are a lot of options that you can do with the map and the scenes. And each scene will unlock the next scene if you choose to go to the next place. And it can just keep going like that. So that's the map feature. So it can be entirely map based instead of based on certain choices that you make. It can be based on where you choose to go. And that which leads to a certain scene that can unlock a next scene and so on and so on and so on. I really hope you liked this video and found it useful. Really thank you guys for following this series and engaging with me. This video was actually made because of a commenter in the last video who wanted to learn more about the maps. There are a lot of options that you can do with this software and a lot of ways you can go with your visual novel. And I hope you guys continue to have more questions which will then challenge me to figure out more stuff having to do with creating games. Keep game developing and see you in the next video.